Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'll be showing you this 5 volt DC to DC converter module. It's basically a step up converter, takes a voltage lower than 5 volts and boosts it to 5 volts. I got this for 4 dollars at JCar, but you can get this online, Amazon, Timu, AliExpress for, for much cheaper. But I needed one now, so I went to JCar and picked it up. Um, it does say input voltage range 2.5 to 5 volts, but I found that this module is the same module that I found on other places online, and it says 0.9 volts to 5 volts. So, yes, um, I think that's wrong. So, the really cool thing about this module is that it can take a low voltage, for example, this... Um, this D, not D, yeah, it's a D-sized battery, 1.5 volts, and we can boost it to 5 volts. And as we know, 5 volts allow us to run USB appliances like this little 5 volt uh, USB light, um, obviously your phone charger and all that kind of stuff. Um, the only issue with this module is that it only provides, or well, doesn't say here, but um, depending on what voltage you give it, it can only specify or output a maximum of 600 milliamps. So it might not be strong enough to charge a mobile phone. I think they need about one amp. And if you provide a voltage lower than, I think, two and a half or lower than that, it can only output 300 milliamps. But considering that you're only feeding it um, a low voltage, for example, one battery, that is quite handy. See, I've got a lot of um, random miscellaneous batteries that I'll probably never use again because I don't have a use for them. Like this D battery, and I also got this um, C size battery. So basically I 3D printed these cases and put um, terminals here. You can just buy these off anywhere online. Or you can just do it yourself, put a little bit of nickel strip, which I did here, you can't see it anymore. But it's got a bit of nickel strip and soldered a wire onto it, onto a JST connector, so I can easily plug and unplug things. So this allows me to kind of give a second life to these soles that I'll never use again. So for example, I can use this to power a light so I'll plug it in um, with this module if it's less than a certain um, voltage this LED won't light up but it's very faint you can see but it will power this USB light how awesome is that now I can tell you exactly what's happening here with this uh, USB power power tester. So I'm getting 4.9 volts out of that. I've just dropped the light. We plug the light in here. And we can see a bit of sag there. 0 0.03 amps. That works. And just for testing purposes, I will plug in the C battery as well. C size. And plug it in through the tester as well. So you can see. Oops. Four point eight eight volts. Plug in the light. Make it in the right way. There we go. Works. So what I'm going to do is uh, print off um, like a A size holder and a AAA size holder. And I can use these in various little projects like my kid's dollhouse to put some lights in there. Or I don't know, anything that can be powered off USB because at least I, give, I get a second life out of these batteries. So this module is pretty useful, I think. So it's a um, 5 volt DC to DC converter module. I'll leave a link to the JCAR version and one's available from 
Amazon uh, and Timu for your consideration. And now as a test, we're gonna take this D battery, boost it to five volts and power on the fairy lights on this thing. There we go. See that? Let's go back a little bit. And we can see we've dropped right down to 3.36 volts. I'll let you know how many watt hours comes out of this Chevron alkaline battery. Pretty cheap brand. Three hours later. Okay, as you can see, the LEDs are still on, the fairy lights. And 3.5 volts at 0 0.1 of an amp. And we've drawn 1.15 watt hours. So I think the optimal voltage for these LEDs probably would be 3.5. It's not too bright and not too dim. And uh, won't drain a battery source as fast. I'm used to using a power bank for this and it doesn't very, last very long because it's running at full pelt. I'm gonna have to make another power bank with an adjustable voltage or put a resistor or something. Anyway, I'm just rambling. I'm just gonna let this uh, drain until the morning. If you like this video, um, please subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next one.